Hi, today let me show you how to write and read the UHF card by my UHF reader. First of all, install the driver. We surprise driver here. Just click that and install it. And after insert, you can see here. My system is Windows 10. You can see when I set up. and uh, see the port you can see the COM5 this is the reader's COM okay now go back here there are there are two softwares one is easy version another one you can set up uh, more functions Okay, let's begin from easy version. Easy version software, you can read and write EPC very easily. Here you can see the port, just the choice the port, we just, we just checked it in setup, you know, and open the port. Here is open the port, and you can uh, see then how about read the, the card? Just call it. Now this is the date already in the in the card. I just read it, you know. They got the, now here you can input the date of yours. And you can input the date of yours and write it. Okay, let me see. Let me see. We choose two 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 two. Okay. Now and write EPC. Now we write it. And now you, if you call it again, you can see the two two. Now you already write the data to the card already. Okay, this is easy version. And the okay, let's close it. Another version is uh, this one is more. We support SDK and manually. You can check that by yourself. Okay, let me change it. C sharp and C. This software is same, just uh, uh, write by different uh, uh, language, you know, C sharp and develop. Uh, let's be C sharp. Open this one, demo software. Now same again, here is the output choice, the COM5, and open the COM, and you can get the read info, okay, now is there is PG tags, this menu is, let me tell you something also, this is the show you uh, the EPCs, the number, and uh, for example, we call the text, okay, now, this, this tag is, we, this number is, uh, we just write it into it. Right now. And this part is uh, here you can set up a passport, EPC, and the user. TID is cannot write able. Okay, TID is not write able. Only can be read. Okay, EPC sounds like This one you can write the, the different passport. Uh, Please check the data sheet of the UHF reader. You will know the address of a passport, address of EPC, address user. You can write the, write them separately. You know, not together. Separately write it. Uh, please check the for example, if you here, I read it. This is his passport. You can change the passport here. Okay, for example, let's write 111 and write it. Okay, now I write the passport is C 111. Okay, now let's say the same as EPC and the user. Okay, that means that the most important is here lock of passport and the lock of EPC TID and user bag. I think some people already think uh, 
why is this important? Most US card cannot read or cannot write because here, because here, you know. For example, the passport. When you set up it here, passport, you cannot read it again. I mean, if you were to clone a US card, which is encrypted, you need to set up here. And you need to know the password. I will not tell you how to hack it and how to encrypt it. I just tell you this was the most important here, password. You can check the SDK and um, do something, and you will be in place. Okay. Here is the red flexion kill text. This one is only in the menu, in menu. You can see, uh, you can check the menu very easily to set up. Just input the date and uh, write into it. Okay, you finish. Uh, okay, that's all. Uh, sorry for my poor English. If you still don't understand, you can leave a message for me, to me. Okay, I will reply you as soon as possible. Okay, thank you.